Have you ever wondered why the Israel-Palestine conflict is one of the longest-running disputes in modern history? This question has intrigued minds across the globe for decades. As we venture into the labyrinth of this enduring conflict, we'll encounter a saga woven with threads of faith, identity, land, and politics. The Israel-Palestine conflict holds a significant place in world history and contemporary politics. The roots of this dispute are deeply entrenched in the soil of the Middle East. It's a tale of two peoples, both holding profound historical and emotional ties to the same stretch of land. A land that's seen the rise and fall of empires, the evolution of religions, and the ebb and flow of civilizations. This land, a mere dot on the world map, has been the epicenter of a bitter struggle for more than a century. In the coming minutes, we'll be navigating through the labyrinthine history of this conflict. We'll dissect the key issues that have fueled this dispute and explore the multi-layered narratives of both sides. We'll unravel the intricate web of historical events, political maneuverings and diplomatic efforts that have shaped this ongoing struggle. We'll examine the birth of this conflict, from the late 19th century Zionist movement to the Balfour Declaration. We'll witness the escalation of tensions through wars, uprisings, and political shifts. We'll chart the course of this dispute through decades of diplomatic stalemates and failed peace attempts. Lastly, we'll assess the current state of the conflict, looking at the challenges and possible paths towards resolution. Our journey will not be an easy one. It's a journey through a landscape scarred by conflict, fraught with complexities, and filled with the echoes of countless voices. But it's a journey that's necessary to understand one of the most enduring and complex disputes of our time. As we embark on this journey, let's remember that it's not merely a tale of conflicts and compromises. It's a human story, one that's marked by both pain and perseverance, hope and despair, dreams and realities. Let's delve into the origins of this complex conflict. Our journey begins in the late 19th century, with the rise of two national movements. As the world was rapidly changing, two forces were emerging in the Middle East, Zionism and Arab nationalism. Let's delve into this pivotal moment in history. Zionism was born out of a longing for a Jewish homeland. This longing was not new, it had been a part of Jewish identity for centuries. But in the 19th century, it found a new expression in the political ideology of Zionism. Led by figures like Theodore Herzl, Zionism sought to establish a Jewish state in Palestine, a land considered sacred by Jews, Christians and Muslims alike. Parallelly, Arab nationalism was growing. The Arab people who had lived under Ottoman rule for centuries began to imagine a future where they could govern themselves in their own land. This dream was not confined to Palestine but extended across the Arab world. Then came a pivotal moment, the Balfour Declaration of 1917. This was a letter from the British Foreign Secretary, Arthur Balfour, to a leader of the British Jewish community. In it, Balfour expressed Britain's support for the establishment of a national home for the Jewish people in Palestine. This letter was seen as a major victory by Zionists. But for the Arab people of Palestine, it was a betrayal. They felt that Britain, which held a mandate over Palestine, had promised them independence but was now siding with the Zionists. The Balfour Declaration ignited a spark that would only grow brighter over the next few decades. Zionists saw it as an endorsement of their dream of a Jewish homeland. But for the Arab Palestinians, it was a threat to their own national aspirations. The promise of a Jewish homeland in a land where another people saw themselves as the rightful inhabitants ignited a conflict that would only grow over time. The stage was set for a clash of nationalisms that would echo throughout the 20th century. This clash, born out of two people's dreams of self-determination, would shape the Middle East and the world in ways that no one could have predicted. The end of World War II brought dramatic changes to the Middle East. The geopolitical landscape was reshaped, and the seeds of a long-lasting conflict were sown. In 1947, the United Nations proposed a partition plan, seeking to divide the British-controlled Palestine into separate Jewish and Arab states with an internationally controlled Jerusalem. This proposal, while applauded by the Jewish community, was met with strong opposition from the Arab nations. They viewed it as a violation of the rights of the majority Arab inhabitants. Despite the opposition, the plan was adopted, leading to the creation of Israel in 1948. This event marked a significant turning point. For Jews worldwide, it was a joyous moment, the realization of a 2,000-year-old dream of a Jewish homeland. For Palestinians, it was Nakba, or the catastrophe, the beginning of a long, painful displacement. 
the establishment of Israel didn't go uncontested. It ignited the 1948 Arab-Israeli War, a brutal conflict involving neighboring Arab states. It was a war characterized by significant loss, displacement, and the beginning of a refugee crisis that would become a key point of contention in the years to follow. The war concluded with Israel expanding its territory beyond the UN-designated borders, leaving the Palestinians with less land than initially proposed in the partition plan. The war's end marked not a resolution, but the start of a protracted conflict. The armistice lines drawn at the end of the war became the de facto borders, but they were never accepted by either side as permanent. The conflict was not just about land, it was a clash of national identities, a struggle for legitimacy and recognition that was deeply rooted in historical narratives, religious significance, and a sense of belonging. The aftermath of the war set the tone for the decades to come. It established a pattern of conflict, negotiation, and temporary resolution. The underlying issues, however, remained unresolved, fueling a cycle of hostility, mistrust, and violence that has continued to this day. The decades following the 1948 war were marked by a series of disputes and hostilities. After the dust of the 1948 war had settled, the years that followed were far from peaceful. The Six-Day War in 1967 was a pivotal moment in the Israel-Palestine conflict. The war was brief, yet its impact was profound. Israel seized control of the West Bank, the Gaza Strip, East Jerusalem, and other territories. This expansion sparked controversy, as the territories were home to large Palestinian populations. Following the Six-Day War, came the Yom Kippur War, in 1973. This war was initiated by a coalition of Arab states, led by Egypt and Syria. They launched a surprise attack on Israel on Yom Kippur, the holiest day in Judaism. Despite the surprise attack, Israel managed to repel the invading forces. But the war served as a stark reminder of the ongoing tension and hostility in the region. Then came the Intifadas, Palestinian uprisings against Israeli occupation. The first Intifada began in 1987, and lasted until 1993. It was marked by civil disobedience, strikes, boycotts, and an escalation in violence. The second Intifada, starting in 2000 and lasting until 2005, was even more violent, with suicide bombings becoming a tragic hallmark of this period. Each of these events has left a deep imprint on the conflict. The Six-Day War resulted in Israel's control over more land, making the question of borders and sovereignty even more complex. The Yom Kippur War, while not changing the map, deepened the animosity and mistrust between the parties. The Intifadas brought the conflict to new heights of violence, further entrenching the divisions between Israelis and Palestinians. The impact of these events on the Israel-Palestine conflict is profound, they have shaped the political landscape, influenced public opinion and affected countless lives. The stakes have been raised, the issues have become more complex, and the path to peace has become increasingly difficult to discern. These events further complicated the conflict, making a resolution even more elusive. Despite the ongoing conflict, attempts have been made to broker peace. Let's take a step back to the early 90s, to the Oslo Accords. Signed in 1993, these agreements marked a significant milestone, as they represented the first-ever mutual recognition between Israel and the Palestine Liberation Organization, or PLO. The Accords aimed to achieve a lasting peace within five years, based on the Land for Peace principle. However, despite initial optimism, the Oslo Accords did not succeed in ending the conflict, largely due to subsequent political developments and a lack of mutual trust between the parties. Fast forward to the year 2000, we find ourselves at the Camp David Summit. Here, US President Bill Clinton aimed to resolve some of the most contentious issues, including the status of Jerusalem borders and refugees. Despite 13 days of intensive negotiations, the summit ended without an agreement. It was a missed opportunity, leaving both sides more entrenched in their positions. Over the years, various other peace initiatives have emerged. The roadmap for peace proposed by the Quartet, the United States, Russia, the European Union, and the United Nations, in 2003, aimed at ending the Palestinian-Israeli conflict in a two-state solution. The Arab Peace Initiative of 2002 offered Israel full normalization of relations with Arab countries in return for withdrawal to pre-1967 borders and a just solution to the Palestinian refugee problem. Yet these initiatives like those before them were met with resistance and ultimately failed to bring about a lasting peace. These attempts highlight the complexity of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. 
a tangle of historical, political, and cultural threads that resist easy solutions. They remind us that peace is not a destination but a journey fraught with challenges and setbacks. While these attempts have brought moments of hope, a lasting resolution remains elusive. Today, the Israel-Palestine conflict remains a central issue in global politics. In recent years the conflict has seen significant developments that continue to shape the situation on the ground. One of the most controversial of these was the recognition of Jerusalem as Israel's capital by the United States in late 2017. This move, which broke with decades of international consensus, sparked widespread protests and further deepened divisions. The status of Jerusalem holds deep religious and national significance for both Israelis and Palestinians. The city is home to sacred sites for Jews, Muslims and Christians alike, and both Israelis and Palestinians claim it as their capital. The decision to recognize it as Israel's capital was seen by many as a unilateral move that undermined the prospects for peace. But the conflict is not just about politics and territorial disputes, it's about the people who live in this region, their lives often punctuated by violence and uncertainty. For Palestinians living in the West Bank and Gaza Strip, life is marked by restrictions on movement, economic hardship, and the constant threat of violence. They live under Israeli occupation, with limited access to basic resources like water and electricity. On the other side of the divide, Israelis live with the constant threat of rocket attacks from militant groups in Gaza. Their lives are also marked by periods of intense conflict and the fear of violence is ever-present. The impact of the conflict extends beyond the region's borders. It has major implications for international relations with countries around the world taking sides and attempting to influence the outcome. In the midst of these challenges there have been numerous attempts to broker peace. Yet, each one has ultimately failed to bring about a lasting resolution. The issues at the heart of the conflict, land, refugees, security and the status of Jerusalem, remain deeply contentious, and a mutually acceptable solution seems elusive. The future of the conflict remains uncertain, with peace still a distant dream. The Israel-Palestine conflict is a complex and deeply rooted issue that has shaped the modern Middle East. It's a struggle that began in the late 19th century with the birth of Zionism and Arab nationalism. The heart of this conflict lies in two communities, each with a profound sense of historical connection to the same piece of land. The conflict escalated following the creation of Israel in 1948. The birth of this new nation led to a series of wars and disputes that have spanned decades. From the Arab-Israeli War, the Six-Day War to the Yom Kippur War, each event has left indelible scars and further complicated the path to peace. The latter half of the 20th century saw a shift in the nature of this conflict. It was no longer just about territorial disputes, it evolved into a struggle for national identity, human rights, and sovereignty. The Palestinian intifadas and the Israeli military responses have only deepened the divide and fueled the cycle of violence and retaliation. However, amidst the turmoil, there have been attempts at peace. The Oslo Accords in the early 90s and the Camp David Summit in 2000 were significant milestones albeit unsuccessful ones, they were glimmers of hope that showed the possibility of a peaceful resolution, even if it seemed far-fetched. Today the conflict remains unresolved, the current state is marked by political instability, intermittent violence, and a deep-seated mistrust on both sides. The issues of Israeli settlements, the status of Jerusalem, and the rights of Palestinian refugees continue to be contentious points of disagreement. In essence, the Israel-Palestine conflict is more than a territorial dispute. It's a battle for identity and survival, a testament to the enduring human spirit in the face of adversity. While the path to peace may be long and fraught, understanding the history of this conflict is a crucial step towards finding a resolution.